Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in 2019, we purchased this home and it came with 12 solar panels. And we did enjoy saving money on our power bill. However, these 12 panels only produced about 20% of the power, leaving us with a sizable power bill, <laughs> especially in the summer months. So our solution for this problem is to install more solar panels. And our goal is to have a zero power bill every month even in the summer. And this video is part one of a two-part series. And we designed this video to be educational and entertaining. And we hope you enjoy it. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free. Hi guys, I'm Mike and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're gonna show you our solar panel installation. So the first thing we had to figure out was how many solar panels would we need to bring our power bill to zero. And after careful planning, we determined we'd need 23 additional solar panels. And the next thing we had to figure out was the location of the new panels. And we decided to install most of the new panels below the existing panels. However, we're gonna install five panels in the front of the house because those five panels will get sunlight all day long. It's really an optimal angle. So we'll have 18 panels facing due east with an additional five panels in the front of the house facing south. So before we show you our solar panel installation, let's go over the five steps in solar energy generation and transmission. First, sunlight hits the solar panels and creates an electrical field. Second, the electricity generated flows to the edge of the panel and into conductive wire. Third, the conductive wire brings the electricity to the inverter where it's transformed from DC to AC electricity. Fourth, another wire transports the AC electricity from the inverter to the electrical panel on the property, also called a breaker box. And this electricity is dispersed throughout the house when needed. And fifth, any electricity that's not needed flows through the utility meter and back into the electrical grid. And this causes your utility meter to run backwards, which gives you a credit for excess generation. And that's the basics in solar energy generation and transmission. And now it's time for the installation. And just a heads up, this install took one day to complete. However, there'll be a few city inspections to make sure things to code before the new panels are switched on. And while I show you the installation process, which is pretty amazing to watch, I'm gonna talk about the panels in detail, as well as the company we used for this install. Like I said before, this is part one. Our second video, part two, will discuss the power output and the pros and cons of going solar. Because the most important question is, will going solar save you money? And you'll find out in part two of this video. Now on to the installation. To secure the solar panels to the roof, they first installed these rails or tracks. And they laid all the electrical wire as well. And also the power optimizers. These connect to the solar panels. The two common ways to install solar panels is either a series string or a parallel string. And we're installing ours in an eight module series string. And I'll show you a close up of the rails as well as the power optimizers. And we'll use my drone to get the shot. Like I said before, these are the installation rails and the panels connect to these two rails. And these are the power optimizers that connect to the solar panels. So now let's go ahead and talk about the solar panels, also referred to as modules. And the company that we used for this installation is Legacy Titan Solar. And all of their information will be in the description below. And there'll be a special discount for Ultimate Tech Hub subscribers. Simply contact Brandon at Legacy Titan Solar and tell him Mike from Ultimate Tech Hub sent you to get that incredible discount. And make sure to leave in the comments below if you contact Brandon. That way I can make sure that you get that discount. Now let's talk about the solar panels, or the modules. Our panels are the SIL 370NX, powered by SILFAB Solar. And FYI, these panels are not made in China. These panels are manufactured and assembled in North America. And these panels have a 25 year warranty. And each panel weighs about 44 pounds. And with a total of 23 panels, that's about 1,000 pounds. Each panel is 72 inches in height, 39 inches in length and one and a half inches thick. And you can see it's not hard for them to move the panels around. At 44 pounds, they're pretty lightweight. 
the maximum power voltage per panel is 37.2. And with a total of 23 panels, our total maximum power voltage is 855.6. And what's great about these panels is that they're BAA ARRA compliant, which means they're designed and manufactured to meet the Buy American Act compliance. And the U.S. State Department, the U.S. military, and the FAA have all utilized SILF Lab panels for their solar installations. And these panels are high efficiency and tier one bankable. And here's the install at the front of the house, the last five panels. And the reason we installed these five panels in the front of the house is the angle was optimal for the most sunlight. And I wanted to install more than five panels here, but because the roof is small in this area, this is all they could fit. And the guys that installed these panels did a great job. Hats off to them. Thank you. Like I said before, this is a one day installation. And lastly, I'll show you the side of the house where they installed the inverter. All the wiring for these panels run to the side of the house. And those wires will connect to these boxes right here. I believe this box is a breaker box. And the box next to that is the inverter. This inverter takes the DC energy produced from the solar panels and turns it into AC energy for your house. And when our panels produce more energy than we need, that extra energy goes onto the grid. And the power company gives us a credit for that energy. And with these additional 23 solar panels, we should have a zero energy bill all year round. Like I said before, in part two of this video, we'll discuss the power output of these additional panels, and I'll show you my power bill, and we'll see if it goes to zero or not. And in addition, we'll discuss the pros and cons of going solar. So now we're all done and all 23 panels are installed, as well as a new breaker box and the all important inverter. And here's the finished product. Legacy Titan did a great job installing these. And these panels look great. And we hope you enjoy these drone shots. And these drone shots were filmed with the first generation DJI Mavic Mini drone. And guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. This project was a lot of fun. And guys, make sure to visit my Amazon shop where we have specific tech items designed just for you at the best price, guaranteed. And I also want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.